Tonight, Raleigh city leaders are working on changing the noise ordinance. Yeah, there are changes that will affect many small businesses. CBS 17's Galat Malaman is live in Raleigh with what this all means. Galat. This has been a long time in the making. The city has been working on updating this noise ordinance for about a year and a half. And I spoke to someone who hopes the new noise ordinance will really help both people and businesses. Noise is all around us. And it ranges in volume. In an area like Glenwood South with bars, restaurants, and thousands of residents, Glenwood South Neighborhood Collaborative President Larry Miller says it's important to have a noise ordinance that's easily enforceable and works for everyone. We want the businesses to be able to, to survive, but the residents have to be able to, to have some quiet enjoyment. Raleigh is looking at changing its noise ordinance. Currently, the rules are based on decibels. The new ordinance presented at Tuesday's city council meeting does away with that. Instead, whoever is enforcing the ordinance gets to decide if it's too loud, which is called a reasonable person standard. As long as we can agree on what that reasonable person is, we'll be okay. I do think that this noise ordinance is going to do a lot of good for providing some more predictability for our officers who are trying to enforce the noise ordinance, which is not working right now with the decibel reader. The city attorney's office also proposes getting rid of a permit that allows businesses to play louder music and certain Glenwood South specific permits. Instead, it proposes a new nightclub ordinance for businesses across the city. The city says the purpose isn't to deal with noise, but instead with public safety concerns. Miller's concern the new nightclub ordinance doesn't allow businesses to appeal their fines. As for the noise ordinance... I really hope that it works because we want it to be successful. Both businesses and the city council say that engagement is a top priority before making any changes. The council hopes to discuss this again in September. Live in Raleigh, Gilot Malam, CBS 17 News.